Hello, my friends, and welcome to my wine bar. Today I will be pouring for you a Syrah. But first, let me show you the finished results of some of the previous ones I've done. This is the one, the first one I did that kind of started this whole series idea. Um, I was thinking of embellishing it, but most people are saying leave it alone. Um, of course, that's a challenge to me. It makes me want to embellish it even more, but I'm running out of time, so I probably will just varnish it, leave it alone. And um, But I can always come back later and embellish in some way if I choose to. Now, this has a very different look than the Chardonnay I poured. And I love this one. Um, I don't know if you can, if I tilt it, you can probably see the the gold there just um, really adds a nice touch to it. And I, I am really pleased with this one. It, yellow is kind of tricky to work with. I, I love yellow personally, but I don't pour with it a lot because when it blends with other colors, it can do some ugly things. But um, I'm really very happy with this one. I also poured a rosé, which I can't show you yet because it's uh, still wet, but by the time you see this video, you'll probably have seen that one. So let's get started on today's. The ironic thing is I can't drink wine myself. It gives me terrible headache because of the sulfides, <laughs> but... Um, I can drink it in Italy. I was there for a month in November of 2019, and I drank wine all day long, every day, but and with no problems. But it's the sulfides that um, sulfites that they add to wines that here in the U.S. that really get me. And I live in wine country. We have great wines here, but I just can't really indulge in them at all. Italy, um, they also add sulfides, but sulfites, but not as much as we do here. And it also has something to do with their volcanic soil. That's not as necessary. Anyway, I don't know that much about wine, but I did research why I was getting these headaches. <laughs> and that seems logical to me. But I don't really need to be drinking wine anyway, so it's all good. All right. After I pour and turn off the camera, I go around and um, fill in the, any voids on the side with the, with these drippings. So, not to worry. All right, let me talk about the colors I'm using today. So, from what I see, the Syrah is a deep purplish wine. So I've mixed some uh, three three parts of violet and one part red to come up with this deep, deep grape color. Then I mixed three parts red, one part violet. Oops, no, it's this one. To come up with this color. And together, did I add water to that? It looks a little thick. I'm not sure I... I did. I may have to add some more. And then um, I noticed that it has a, a bit of warmth to it as well. So I mixed, did the same mix. Then I added some um, gold to it. This um, Master's Touch Olympic Gold. And oh my goodness, it, it did just what I wanted. It warmed it up and added a bit of shimmer to it. I'm very happy with it. So I think I'll just use these three colors. Oh, there's a cat hair. Oh my gosh. Where does this come from? The cats are not allowed in here. They don't come in here at all. It's just everywhere. I guess it's on, on me. And they're not even my cats. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, you know what? I'm going to pause a moment and check my consistencies because I can't remember. It looks like I maybe didn't add water to... Um, one of the reds. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have returned with a slight change of plans. I was a little concerned about the 
red violet I had mixed with the gold, being too red because I really wanted to pour a purple wine pour. So I did a little research during the break and I found that the pour I should be doing or call it is a petite Syrah, which is a different type of grape. It's grown primarily in California and Australia, and it really varies from a deep purple to a deep red color. So I actually deepened my purple with a touch of pearl black, just a smidgen. And I don't know, I, I think it did deepen it ever so slightly. And it may have added a little bit of pearl essence to it. And then I deep I took that same mix and I added gold, the gold to this one. So now I have a wonderful luscious purple with a hint of warmth to it. And then I have the red violet. So let's see how that works. And I want to remind myself, I put an arrow here to start um, my lines this way rather than my usual this way because all my paintings were coming out very similar in composition and I, I need to mix it up. So, um, you know, even if I turn it around, it's still going to be the same thing. So I'm just going to start with this and I'm going to have the purples on top. So I'm going to go with the red violet, the violet red, and then the violet red gold. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Here we go. There's something there. I like to be as perfect as possible when I start, right? There we go. That's just a little, little chunk there of something. Oh, I'm so picky. All right. Here we go. Red violet. That's three parts red, one part violet. And now the deep purple, three parts violet, one part red, and a touch of black. I'm going to double up on that one. And now the one with the hint of gold. Oh, look at that. How did I manage to spatter? Oh well. Oh, that's pretty. A little more of that. Is that enough? This looks like enough. That looks a little skimpy up here. Let's add some more. more of the dark. Fill in those gaps with the, the dark. Okay. All right. I have so much paint left over. Um, did I mention this? Maybe I mentioned it in the first half of camp. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? How did I get a... I'll have to watch the video and see how I managed that. Is it on my hands? No? Whatever. Okay. Here we go. Sit on high and cool. I like it. stop there that may be sufficient oh my gosh those colors are amazing 
I like that kind of little foldy thing there. Hmm. Is it too much if I blow that out? I think I like the um, negative space there, and I think I'm I'm gonna stop. I think. Again, I have the undisturbed in the center, and I'm, I think I'm okay with it. I do, because I'm enjoying the gold in there. It looks very pretty up close. Oh, just not certain if I want to. You know, these, these little things bo always bother me. So, and yet they kind of look like a splash. You know what, I'm going to blow this out. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to just go down this area. Oh, I hope I don't regret it. Okay, um, I'm going to stop there. Okay, well, I like it. <laughs> Look at these stupid little, little dots that ended up there. And then one way, oops, now I got a couple ways to get deal with that, right? There we go. All gone. Okay. I want to do that. Maybe. Just bring this one out. Okay. Dunzo. Oh, folks, I like it. I'm not a big purple fan, but... Um, it's what I envisioned, so I'm pleased with that. Let me bring you in to look a little closer. That's a little bit of selling. Nothing like that first one. Maybe it was that particular bottle. I used with the white. I'm, I'm happy with this, the composition and everything, the nice flow of paint there. Yeah. Oh, I think it's lovely. All right. Well, I checked my inventory. I only have one more um, of this the canvas this size. So I'm undecided what to do with it, but um, I'll come up with something, but maybe you could suggest to me. Okay, my friends. Well, thank you for watching. Cheers.